hey, it's Ali J and welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you guys my nighttime skincare routine. So this is everything that I do on a good day before bed to just take care of my skin and do what I need to do to keep clear skin. So before I get into my routine, one thing I definitely want to be honest about and one thing you're always gonna get from my channel is realness. And my skin still is not perfect, however, it has come such a long way. And I'm gonna insert some pictures here and here and here of just what my skin used to look like before. I really had to do a lot of research on skincare and estheticians and a little bit of dermatology and just figure out what was going on with me. I had a lot of hormonal acne problems and dark spot problems um, and a lot of that I remedied by seeing an esthetician, getting on birth control, and also spending a little more on skincare products than I used to. Alright, so I think this video is going to be really fun and I'm excited to get started so let's get into it. So the first thing I do before I start my skincare routine is wash my hands. So that's what I'm about to do now. And this doesn't have to be done any kind of special way. You just wash your hands like you normally do. So now that my hands are nice and clean, I can touch my face because we don't want to touch our face with dirty hands. So the first thing I do is I use my Garnier Skin Active, I don't know if it's pronounced micellar or micellar, you know, cleansing water, that thing. So I've been using this forever. This is my second or third bottle. So usually I use a cotton pad, but I'm all out, so I have to use a cotton ball. And I just take this, put it onto the cotton pad or cotton ball. I'm definitely spilling, that's okay. And I just wipe my face down. And I'm gonna be looking in the mirror too, just to make sure I'm getting everywhere. I don't have any makeup on, so I don't expect too much to be on here, but there's definitely something on there because your skin gets really dirty throughout the day. So I usually only have to use one cotton pad because I'll use the other side, but since I'm using cotton balls, I'll have to grab another one and I continue. First step, pre-cleansing, done. Next step, we have regular cleansing and what I like to use is the Murad Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. This is my second uh, bottle of this and it has 1.5 salicylic acid. Um, I don't know if you guys follow any um, popular estheticians. You need to be using salicylic acid and glycolic acid, not sure if I'm pronouncing those right, um, to exfoliate your skin chemically and not with physical exfoliants. So this is really easy. All I do is Get some water, I put it on my face about this much. I really like that this foams up. I don't know why, I just like it. But basically, I just rub this in for a minute. Also, shout out to LA Beautyologist. Um, she's the one who kind of created the 60 second rule and she said that if you rub your products in for at least a minute, you'll see some very good results and it's been true. Now I rinse it off. I'm definitely not about to have a Neutrogena commercial moment. I just rinse it off normally. So I'm doing my full skincare routine. So my next step is actually to exfoliate. So to exfoliate, I use the Neutrogena Pore Refining Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, so this cleanser has glycolic acid, which is the other acid that I heard was really great for your skin and has been working really well for me. Um, so this says that it helps reduce the appearance of pores and refined skin and cleans deep and exfoliates to remove pore clogging impurities for healthier looking skin. So I use this, okay if I'm being honest, I don't use it much. I use it every two weeks but I try to use it every week, but I just suck lately because working two jobs means I get home late and I just want to go to bed. It. Not that much. This is kind of sticky. So just like I did for the Murad cleanser, I'm gonna rub this in for about a minute.
Okay, and now it's time to rinse. We just exfoliated. Now the next thing I do is, well, I don't do this all the time, but um, on nights when I really need it, like tonight, this is the Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Sensitive Skin Mud Mask. And what I love about this is that the next day after you use this, I don't really get pimples anymore, but when I did get them, I would use this and then like the next day my whole face would just be like soothed and just like just calmer. I don't really know how to explain it. Like my skin overall would just look a little more uniform. I've had this for like over a year and I still use it. I love it so much. If your skin just looks like it's having a rough time and she doesn't look like she's going to make it through the next day, this is what you want to use basically. It tells your skin to calm down, sit down, get it together, okay? That's what this is. Okay, so it's been like 10-15 minutes and now I'm ready to wipe this mask off. Now my skin is calm, it's clean, and it's just ready to suck in the moisture. So the first thing I use to moisturize my skin is the very controversial Thayer's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. And this one is the Rose Petal one and I just love this one. This is like my, honestly this is like my third bottle of this. So I just spray this all over my skin. I kind of did a little too much, but I just love it so much. I feel like I can't use too much. And it just smells so good. And the last step of my skincare routine is the Sunflower Sweet Serum. This is by the brand called Ayeli. I believe that's how you pronounce it. They used to be known as Bahi, Bahi Cosmetics but now they go by Ayeli, that's A-Y-E-L-E. -E. And they have a lot of really amazing products. They're a black owned brand and they cater to black women, dark skinned women, women of color. Once again, this is not sponsored, but I just really love them. So what I do, I suck some into the drop and I put some on my cheek and a little on my forehead and that's more than enough for the nighttime, and I just rub it in. During the daytime, I use a little less because this can be, it can be a little like, it'll just make you shine a little bit. But in the nighttime, I like to use a lot, and I put it on my neck too. Make sure you rub up on your neck and not down. With the Sunflower Sweet Serum, if you look at this cheek, I don't know how well the camera is showing it, but before like my dark spots on this cheek were like crazy, like it looked really bad. And as soon as I started using this, the dark spots started fading away. Now I'm just like, I just love my bare face. I probably wear makeup once or twice a month and that's only if I'm like invited out or I go somewhere, but every day to work, when I see my friends, when I go out, most of the time, I'm bare face. And the very final step, this isn't a skincare, well I guess it is, but chapstick. Alright, it looks like we are done here and that is my nighttime skincare routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed, I hope it was kind of educational and informative as well. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Once again, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.